Good afternoon, people. How are you doing? All right. Well, today we are going to Peter Tavy. Not been there before. We've been close to it, and the campsite we've never been to before. And uh, we're going to just go for a chill weekend. Let's see how it pans out. Susie, our van, as you know, is a little bit poorly. She's not going very well at the moment. So we've had a few, tried a few things and um, she's all right until she comes to a hill. And sadly, she got no guts at the moment. Well, that'll be another video. So we'll uh, stick with us and enjoy the weekend. They're going round the roundabout. <laughs> oh dear. That's our friends in front going round the roundabout a couple of times. So we can catch him up. Poor old Susie. We've uh, finally got here and the weather's turned a little tiny bit. The um, campsite is called Arthur Bridge and um, we'll go for a little walk around tomorrow. But for now, we're going to go and have a walk on the cycle rat track. Well, we walked a little way down and we decided we don't want to walk down the main road today. We're going to walk back up towards the campsite and there was a, there was a pub just down from there so that's where we're going to go. The tree's still growing. So just out of interest, that little bit of cycle path we've done is uh, National Cycle Network number 27. There she is, waiting for us. Susie, we're just going to get some money so we can carry on to the pub. So we've now come out of the campsite again and we're going to the pub. I keep on saying we're going to the pub, but we are actually going to the pub. But we're just about to walk across Harford Bridge. Peter Tavy. And we finally arrived. This is the Peter Tavy. We've had a couple of pints. Peter Tavy in Peter Tavy. And now we're gonna wander back. I think we're going to have pizza and a few more beers. This is a great thing about being out of the country. There you are, I don't know if you can see that local honey. Six pound a jar, butter, a pound fifty. Don't know what you can see in front of me, probably not a lot. 
Well, this is a real first for us. Cooking pizza in the van. We just had one pizza and it's been absolutely lovely. And the second one is just about to come out. And look at that, guys. I don't know if you can see that. That looks absolutely delicious. Well, good morning. We had a good night's sleep last night. A few drinks in the pub, as you saw. Come back and had a pizza. Went to bed. Pretty early, really, for a good sleep. Quite drizzly last night. That's, I suppose that's really why we didn't stay up that late. Well, today we're going to take a trip down to Tavistock. I believe we're going to go on a bus. Something I don't do very often, but hey-ho. So we're going to go down there. And uh, we'll have a look around. There's some markets down there. You can see it's not looking too bad today. Considering this is the last week in September, it's quite busy here. Really quite impressed how many people were here. And as you can see now in better light, you know, there's um, chalets down the middle. There's a lower field as well, which apparently is really quite beautiful. And um, we can camp by the river. Obviously not ideal as weather gets a bit wetter the fields get soggy.
Wow. Well, that's a good look. That's really, really nice. So what's this place called? Tavistock. Tavistock. <laughs> I'm glad about that. <laughs> Boy's got one thing. Oh! <laughs> We'll have to bleep that out. Coffee and cream bread, coffee, coffee and cream patisserie. So we're at the coffee and cream patisserie and uh, being treated to a um, blueberry muffin. Flat white. Well, this is the lower part of the campsite. You can see there's a beautiful little river here. And if you look just in behind, you can see how close you can camp. There's people pitching their tents. There's no electric hookup right at the far end here, but there is hookup in that field. Well, this is quite beautiful, isn't it, really? <coughs> so I think the field behind us is called Lower Meadow Field, but we're not entirely sure. It will shack up and on. Confirm that. Good morning, and it's now Sunday, and uh, pack up day. Decided we might um, 
Take a trip up onto the Dartmoor. Just to extend the little trip out a bit. Um, while we're here, I'll just do a little bit of video around the site so you can see what it looks like. So you've got these chalets on the left hand side. And on the right hand side here, and these quite modern, sort of purpose built little homes. And lovely little over there. And then this end here is where the facilities are. To be perfectly honest, it's um, really, really well thought out. You've got you know, bike park in there. Come down for this weird disposal area. The toilets to your right. And laundry and showers. And dishwashing down to the left there. So we could suppose we area and service some point and get your fresh water. One little great thing they do here as well is um, you can see the white fan ahead. They serve food there. And they'll deliver it to you on bikes in the evening. Between five and seven on Fridays and Saturdays food yeah, that's the sort of food we had last night we didn't order but yeah, and uh, come in a bit you can see the rough prices Duckington Haven as it was they called it just down here we've got a little shop they also do falconry here. We didn't see any, but um, as you can see. Maybe you fancied having a go at that. Apparently there's um, TVs and bits and pieces in that room. Oh, yeah. You just about see them. So we've got table football, you know, hockey, pool. And there you are, there's a help you what you can see within 15 miles of you. I'll just run down. Obviously tab stop where we went yesterday. Plymouth. Matetska. This is all places around where we are. I've just bought a book recently. I forget the name, but I'll put it down below. And it's the Hidden Secrets of the South West. And I plan over the coming months, as it gets a bit cooler and that, to start doing some of the hidden secrets. You know, doing little videos in line with the book. You know, you might enjoy the book yourself. And uh, want to do some of the trips as well. Well, we went to Yelverton and the rain came in. So we didn't really do much there. As you can see, it's not exactly very nice anymore. Miserable, busy, typical moors weather. Quite an interesting thing on the way back. Um, this is the weekend where fuel apparently is becoming more difficult to get out of. We decided to go and get some fuel and they've run out of diesel already. So we're looking on the way home now to see if there's any other petrol stations with diesel. Never would have thought that would have happened with this day and age, Jim. If you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. You know, maybe even say hello down in the comments. And if you like what I'm doing, subscribe. There should be a video every week now on Friday at 6 o'clock. That's what I aim to do from here on in. So see you later. See you in the next video. And have a good one. See you later. In your arms I go.